this is the morning, a lovely sunny morning, Korean, and it's my annual Jail and Bail for the Caring Caretakers Charities for 2015, which are the Robinson Hospital, uh, Wally's Orphanage, Meningitis UK, Children in Lapland, and Children's Heartbeat Trust. And I'm trying to get each of them £3,000 each over the year, vanishing off with my set out of Christmas. <laughs> right, if you just stand in front of this man here, please. Yeah, thank you. Now, what's your name? Ronald McClellan. Ronald McClellan, what's yours? Pamela Morrow. Right, and how much money did you raise? We raised the £500. Right, and how did you do that? Uh, well, myself and some of the other girls from the shop. Can you not talk for himself? <laughs> well, because you, you obviously did the bulk of the work here, you being the man. Yes, I'm going ahead. Uh, of course, me being yes. the man. We uh, just oh, raised it through work. And, and how did you do that? And how did you do that? Well, we done a charity run, um, a fun run with Springwell Ladies Running Club. Are you a member of it, are you? I'm not, no. One of the girl's sisters actually is a member, so we told my group, and five of us ran the charity run. Right. And then also three just customer donations and tips. So does that mean that every time I go into Bob and Bert's in, I'm going to get free coffees now from now on, am I, if I let you out? Possibly. Because I know Colin McLean very well, right? And there's no way he's going to give me free coffees. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Well, have you, you have paid your money on all the money? We have our money for our Well, listen, fantastic. And thank you very, very much for your efforts, you know. David? I'm happy enough that they've raised the money and that they can be released. That's all right. You, know. you just give your name. You can give your name. Yes, sir. Bob and Bert. Who's five? Five. What? Five. Five. All right, Miss Taylor. How are you? Not too bad. That's good. Thank you very much. Where do you work? I work in the spa mount sand on Corian. That's the one. Is that the one I saw on Facebook about something? Yes, about police arresting and resources being used for their own thing or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? So, how much money did you raise? I raised seven hundred pounds. How did you do that? Um, I held a spinathon oh, yeah. and a coffee morning, and then just went round all my friends and family and begged. That's very very hard to do, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah, yes. Indeed. And a spinathon. How long was that for? It was for an hour. Was for one day. And was it a killer? Or was it? It was, yes, yes, my friend done the class, so yes, it was tough. And where did you hold that in? We held that in Route to Fitness in Balmain. Very good. And £700. Yes. Right, so yeah. it's now all over. Oh. That's great. It is, it's fantastic. Thank you. So you're now going to relax now, you don't have to ask anybody. When did you get the last of the money in? Uh, this morning. Yeah, well, that's not fantastic. Everybody has a yes. fantastic effort. Thank you. David, I'm well happy that the bail has been raised. You know, and if as long as you're happy yeah, with at least this person. Maybe we should turn up someday with Korean, Max. Well, it's the next one I'm going to hammer by Korean, so yeah. You know, <laughs> thank you very, very thank much. You. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one. We're guilty. We're guilty. <laughs> right, he's up to, I, was, I was dying to get the chance to send this man back with him, he's not smelling. Colin, uh, this is the one I've been particularly looking forward to, so, it is, you know. so uh, the first thing is, how much money did you raise? £511. Right, and uh, how did you do that Colin? Hounded people. Hounded people, and just going around and asking, 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 mm -hmm. and I saw you on Facebook and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. Did you do any sponsored events or anything? No. Or? Just purely asking people, right? So very, you're probably a very popular chap then, are you? People are going to see the back of this, are they? Probably, yeah. Yes, yeah, right. I can imagine so. Hey, Colin, right? Now, I, I, I've been thinking long and hard about this, right? Okay, now, you raise £511, right? How would you like to take that £511 home with you? Uh, no, I want to give it to David. Right. Because I tell you, it, it, all you have to do, right, if you say, right, and you say in front of these people all around here, right, mm -hmm. that Ronnie McFall is the greatest manager in the last 30 years and Porter Down is the most fantastic team yeah. in the Irish League ever. Do you honestly think I'm going well, to say that? The choice, the choice is yours. The money's Davies all day. Fair enough, right? Well, call we can keep say, that up, mate. Yes, yes. Is, thank you very, very much for your efforts, big man. That's an outstanding number, 511. And David, the bill has been raised. And if you're happy enough for yeah, this, this man. Good man, we'll, we'll, we'll look after <laughs> Let him go. Yes, thank, thank, thank you very, very much, Colin. Go there and these boys and take a photo. Thank you. McClarty. Good Yeah. Ah, that's 
sorry, Charles, he should have been briefed, no span and all of this. Uh, Alison, yes. how are you? Good, thank you. That's dead on. First of all, how much did you raise? Uh, 560. Five, that is fantastic. Now, the next thing is, how did you do it? I held an auction for a few items, a detox day, and I held a girls' night. Oh, we're talking about that. <laughs> you see your auction, where did you have it? In the house. Right, it what all did you sell? Uh, there was a three day juice diet, there was a pamper package from the spa in Belle Isle. Just and like the people who did eat stuff to mm-hmm. you, the, the, and, I guess, and was there a big turnout for that? I had a really big raffle, right. so I did, there was like, they got the 30 prizes with it, so right. that's how I raised most of the money. And then, what, where, where, where was the girls' night out? In type? my house. Right. <laughs> and what all happened uh, there? Then? I had two massage therapists come and give massages. And, and were they male or female? There was one male and one female. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> so yeah. And uh, how many girls attended? There was eight of us. Right, okay. Do you see if there's ever any other girls' nights where I don't mind, I'd go to it. Do you like me to let you know? Just, just give me a shout and I'd turn up. You know. You're a student then, I aren't am, you? I am, yeah. And what are you studying? Business. Right, so how long have you been studying for? Uh, two years, I've just got another half a year left. And then did you just, did you leave school and do a degree or did you leave school? I left school, went to Gap Year then, went to university and have basically studied the whole right. time since, but I want a business degree do. And then whenever you finish this, what's your intentions? I want to go into PR. And yeah, like, is there a big market out there? Um, market PR? More so Belfast direction. Right. And that's where you want to head to, is it? I would think are so. Are you yeah. ultimately from down there? Are you from up here? No, I'm from here. Right. Yeah. Do you ever go to Valley Castle Road and watch the Korean or anything? No. A few times when I was younger. We're more of a rugby family. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. Do you ever want to see them playing Port of No. No. Fair enough, right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, listen, a fantastic effort and thank you no very problems. much, Sherry. David, which has raised 560 quid. And if you're happy, well, I'm more than happy. Thank you very, very much, Alison. Thank you. Thank you, Alison. Thank you. Darling, so much. So we have Mr. Weir then. Mr. Weir, yes. Mr. Weir, first of all, can I ask how much money have you raised? 500. 500, that's spot on. Now, Mr. Weir, it's quite obvious that you're not from these uh, sunny climes. No. Uh, Whereabouts are you from? Dunfermline, did you say? Dunfermline, yes. Did you ever go and watch Dunfermline? No. Did you? Good bit of sense. Right, did you, when, well, in Scotland, who did you, I love footballers, I'm sure you're mad, you know. Who did you go and watch in yeah. Scotland? Rangers. Rangers, right, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a mark against them already, right? I'm um, only joking, I'm only joking. Then what brought you over to the, these shores? Uh, I've met my wife over here. And, and is she from here? She's from here. Right, whereabouts is she from? Originally called Amy, she lives in Portrush. Oh, very good, right, there. And uh, how, how's business for you now? Uh, Come very well. It's weird yes. travel, isn't it? Weird travel, that's right. right. And uh, you've seen, you're telling me earlier on you've just, just opened, opened up a new, new shop in Barolina. Right, so uh, is the, the press there, are they still there? Are they? Make sure no, you get this on over there, you know. Um, how did you raise your money? Uh, generally from customers and staff. Right. Uh, and then I've got a lot of friends in that too. When I was in Scotland over the weekend, I was taking taking it across with me. Yeah, no, and so it was just purely asking it and with the people here at work. It's, it's the women who organised the, the spin of thorns and all the different events and the men have just asked and that's yes. so you didn't you just went around paying people? Went, aye, basically. Uh, it's hard work too, yeah, isn't it? Work. You know? It's um, worth it. You, what about, are you watching the match today? Hopefully. Right, who do you think is going to win? Do you think you'll beat the Scotland Right, and uh, well, who knows? You know, it's, it's an honor. What time is it on at? The coverage starts at four, but I don't know what time it is. And what time is it on now? Game on at then? That's the only match that we're really interested in, isn't it? David, you've raised your money. Yes. Well done, and it's a very, very good effort, and thank you very, very much. Mr. Boy, if you're happy, I'm happy, you know, so thank you very, very much. If you just give this lady your details, hey, Mr. Robinson, uh, if you just come here and stand in front of the table. I've earned there, I've earned there, so we wait. That's good, it's maybe mm-hmm. not a position you're used to being in, uh, mm-hmm. taking up in front of a mm-hmm. judge, you know, but uh, as I say, the last murder of the Valley. Absolutely. Right, and how did that go? It went dramatically well, right. um, but in the last week I was arrested in Novabody Town Centre, so my dignity lay in tatters all over the Town Centre that particular day, thanks and to I, Sergeant Ian Hunt. And are you making a complaint about Mr Hunt? I, I think I will. Right. I'm going to visit a to see Please if we do, can yes, pursue you know. that boy. Yes. I, hear uh, the, I, 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 I heard the other day he was moved to Balamone, yes, such as uh, the fear that I put on him. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fear, because I actually work with him. 
Oh, oh right. So I see right. Him, oh, and I pass on your I pass on your okay, right. whenever I'm speaking to him on Monday morning. So well, you know, um, I believe then you had uh, some good news over the last couple of weeks from this your father. Aye, this morning uh, we get word that uh, my father was awarded an MBE. And what was that for? It was for services to political life and no services to public life and politics. Very good. And was he? Uh, has he been a politician or a councillor or whatever all his? 30 oh, years. Right, 30 uh, years. Yeah. I'm sure then MLA. Oh, right, yeah, mm. all right. And is that in the same party as yourself? Absolutely. Yeah, what was that, TUV or something? Uh, no, not oh, quite. Yes, uh, I'm not quite. I'm only being precise. Maybe close. Yes, very good. Mr. Robinson, how much money did you raise then? I think it was 568, I think yeah. it is. And how did you go about doing that? Um, begging, not stealing, right, and good borrowing. Good to hear that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've noticed here that all the ladies and all who were involved, they organised events like spinathons and all that sort of stuff. Was yours just pure begging? Mine was just pure begging. Right. Mm -hmm. And were you very popular as you were going out begging and asking questions? It, it wasn't. Business? It wasn't because the circles that I was mixing on tended to be events that they were asking for money at. Right. Yes. And there was me coming along and asking for additional money for me. And uh, <coughs> was your uh, how would you say your party colleagues uh, were they? Uh, Where's the press now? Were they forthcoming in their donations? Well, they as were. Well? They were very kind. Why? Mm -hmm. They were very kind. Uh, yeah, well, that's good. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm very supportive. Right, very we'll, supportive. We'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. All right, very that's supportive. Fantastic. Um, now, I, I, because of this man here and the circumstances in the background, I have a very low to let him out until we've actually got the money in our hands. Yeah. Uh, has the money been forthcoming? Has it? Not yet. Right. Well, Mr. Foy, I'm happy enough to let him go, but on the same time, if the money's not forthcoming, then they have to put him back into the sales until we get it. Well, it'll be forthcoming, I can show you. I've an important event tonight that right. I need to get it to. It will be forthcoming, it or will be. have we got it here? Oh, it's here. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Um, this okay. woman here in the bright red palm has it in her hand. And is she prepared to stand and over? She's prepared to stand over. Could you bring mm -hmm. it forward, please? I certainly can. Is this your daughter here then? No, not this girl here. This no, my, my, why is my daughter here? <laughs> <laughs> We're a very young looking yeah, father's yeah, one. Right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There we have that some is meal magic, that's great. <laughs> yeah, as long as we've got that, I'm more than happy. Mm. David, are you happy? I'm happy, more than happy. Thank you. I have an order and match at the end of the night, so. Uh, uh, once again, uh, I appreciate, pre appreciate everything you've done for me. And I want to thank from the bottom of my heart the PSNI because through the year they stood a bit of stick on the internet because of giving up their time to help me. And believe you me, you never know. When these diseases come and knock on your own door. Um, I'm a one man band without Ian and Sharon and Darren. Uh, this year wasn't happen. And pass on to your boys. I'm not certain what they did. Well, well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've no weak portable GLS.